can't breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Codsworth. What happened to the world? Uh, well, sir. Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Beck. Where is your better half, by the by? They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. It's worse than I thought. <clears throat> You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. 200 years? What? Are you...? A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. What? Food? Y yeah, sure. I I need a minute to think. Then I'll be right back. Red Menace? Why, the Communists, of course! The Russians and the Chinese! Codsworth, buddy. I don't think the Reds are going to be a problem anymore. I have an idea. Let's search the neighborhood together. After all, the Mrs. and young Sean, they're... they're my family, too. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir! Talks away. I was just getting warmed up. Codsworth. Mr. Gabriel, don't worry. My search protocols are on full alert. Follow me, sir. We must find your family. Nothing here but a few flies. Wait. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. Mr. Gabriel, your, your family isn't here either. 
that. They're really gone, aren't they? Come on, Codsworth. I need your help. Where can I go? Well, you could head into the city. Concord is nearby. But the people there are as put together as I am. Thanks for your help, Cosworth. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain here and secure the home front. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? <laughs> okay, then. Let's stick together. Let's just get the hell out. 
out of here. We got no reason to hang around and get shot. <laughs> Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. Minutemen? So now I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. And I did, but nope. things fell apart. Now it looks like I'm the last Minuteman left standing. I have my own problems, Garvey. Yeah? Like what? You help us? Maybe we can help you. My son Sean's been kidnapped. He's not even a year old. That's messed up. I'm sorry. I know how this world can be. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. Maybe? You really aren't from around here, are you? <sighs> no. Nope. Ghouls are irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and live for a long time. God damn it. But they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. Nah, They'll rip you apart it. just as soon as look at you. Anyway. We figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. What makes that power armor so special? A West Tech internalized servo system, that's what! Inside that baby, super is the new normal. You'll be stronger, tougher, resistant to rads, and... Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that. And those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck.
Boss, we got somebody up here.
Take it easy, Mama. You okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. Excuse me. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah. For a while, anyway. We can at least move someplace safer. Listen. When we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it. And I know your pain. My destiny? What do you mean? You're a man out of time. Out of hope. But all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. I knew it. Please tell me where he is. I need to find my son. I can't see him. Not clearly, but I feel his life force. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Please, Mama Murphy. I'm working from nothing. I need more. Look, kid. I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can hardly oh, hold turn on, out hold any on. worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh, okay. <laughs>